you a little example of a two-dimensional array as it's used in a class. Uh, namely, I want to build a little tic-tac-toe example. So build a tic-tac-toe board, tic-tac-toe, and I'm going to give it a main uh, for some unit testing. If you don't know what tic-tac-toe is, you can go Google it uh, or Bing it, you know, if you're into that. So it's a three-dimensional board of cells, right? So in each cell in a tic-tac-toe board can either be an X, a zero, or it can be empty. They all start out empty, right? So we're going to need an enum. I'm going to call it the enum cell. And it's going to have the values E, X, and capital O. Let's make this private, I think. Or yeah, public, actually. And uh, by the way, that's an O. That's an O. Not a zero. Uh, you notice uh, these look very different. Notice that beginners have trouble. We'll sometimes get confused with zeros and O's, but notice uh, you know there's a good reason we use a font where the zero has a slash through it and not the O. And uh, we like the slash because it keeps us from making mistakes. So there you go. It's a public enum cell. Now I need my private. Uh, two-dimensional board, we call it a board. And uh, so that's going to hold the state of the game. Now, uh, you see, I just declared it. I have not initialized it. I do that in the constructor, like so. So I'm going to say cell, oh, no, I'm sorry. Board is a new cell. And it's always three by three, so it's OK to put a three here. There. So now this is going to create the space for all those cells, but uh, they're just going to be set to null. Right? Remember, when you create an array of objects, they get set to null. Uh, so let's initialize. So we need to initialize them all to E or empty. So what we're going to need is two for loops. Right? So we're going to need to iterate over array with Let's say I and uh, another for loop to iterate over the array and again forward. Um, well, I dot length. Uh, not not I dot length. Board I dot length. Right. Just in case, right? We could have put three here and three here. Uh, and that would be fine because I know I just created a board of three by three, but uh, you know you never know. Somebody might some in the future change decide that this is going to be a tic tac toe with four by fours, four by four tic tac toe. Uh, so just to be safe, we'll do that. And then I'm setting board i j to be cell dot. E. So they're all empty. Okay, so I think that works. Let's do here our little unit testing. Tic tac toe B is a new tic tac toe game. And I want to print it out. Of course, you know the points line here. This is going to be that. What is that ugliness? We need a uh, Next thing we need is some way to print out a pretty tic-tac-toe board. So what we need is a public string to string method. We need to implement that. How are we going to print out the board? Well, again, we need a for loop just like this one. Um, but uh, yeah, to make it more interesting, I'm going to use a for each in this case. So I'm going to iterate over each row of the board. So the type is going to be cell array row uh, board. And then for each cell C row. I think that's right. 
And then result, which I didn't define over here and define the result string. Result is starts out of the empty string. Result, I'm gonna accumulate the value of C. And then I'm going to return the result. So I think that works. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So if I run that, now E, there we go. So we got all the E's, and then this is supposed to be three by three, you know, so we forgot to add a new line character there at the end of each row. We need to add a little slash N as a new line character. Run that again. There we go. Three by three, E, 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 E. So there you go. Uh, we can create a board. We can make it pretty. And now and then the only next thing we probably need to do is to provide a method to change a particular cell. So we'll call it public board uh, set cell. And uh, we have integer row, integer column, and uh, cell value. And all this needs to do is board, row, column, value. Oops, hey, row, column, gets value. So, now notice, you know, in a better implementation, I would do a little, I would check to say, you know, if the row is less than zero or bigger than, the board length, maybe I return an error, throw an exception. Uh, we're not gonna do that. And now, so let's just test that and let's set the cell. Uh, you always want to start out in the middle, right? So that's gonna be zero, one, that's gonna be one, one, and uh, cell, and that's gonna be access. Okay. And after that, then we can print out the new board like that and run that. So that's the first board there. And then next time there's an X there. Um, so you notice it doesn't look the prettiest because it's got all those E's there. And we could change those to spaces. Um, you can see that's probably not too hard. Uh, we can just say if um, uh, right here, we can say, you know, if C is equals equals to cell dot e then e then the result is not going to be that but it's going to be going to be the else part there result is going to be space so of course then the problem is that when i print it out it's just going to look like a lot of spaces so and that's going to look kind of odd there because i really need to align in between uh, but uh, maybe something better for a space might be a uh, little underscore character. So uh, a little bit better. So I got that board there. Is it nothing? X in the middle. 